Hey guys, and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol, where we last left off, we were exploring the oxygen production facility thingy. Hey dude! Now, 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 don't be like that. We know what you guys are like. And we also can't see you. Man, there's a lot of these crawler guys here. Now, luckily, I don't think these Griblies actually um, mutate. I don't think they do. Sadly, we now cannot see Jack, which is not good. I'm not sure that Jack wants to be seen, to be honest. Oh, hello. Take some bullets. Take some more bullets. Have a nice little scoot around in here. Well, would you Adam and Eva? The fuse is burnt out. Gee, we've never seen that happen before. Yeah, they're going to use that one like quite a few hundred thousand times. Alright, well. Looks like there's a fresh fuse in here. And some other goodies. So. Seems reasonable. To assume. Oh, God. Getting some frame dips there. Luckily, luckily that does clear the fog. I really do like the fog though. And what's unfortunate here is those little grubby things generally drop money. They didn't drop a lot of money, but they do drop a bit. Trouble is... Um, it didn't seem to drop anything really there, which kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. Alright, what do we got here? We've got some credits. We've got a nice juicy battery that we can't use. We've got some ammo. We like ammo. Hand cannon ammo, no less. Now, I like, I do like the hand cannon, but it certainly, towards the end of the game, gets a little bit obsolete. <laughs> but that's to be expected. Oh, we can hear griblies. We can hear griblies. Oh, whatever. We can hear them, but we can't see them. Now let's continue on our glorious adventure. Oh, yum, yum. Looks like they've made this place their home. So, we didn't get what we wanted. Not yet, anyway. Oh! Hey, friend. Don't mind if I take your neck key thing, do you? Right, Sergeant Bill. Hello, Sergeant Bill. Uh, Sergeant Bill. There we go. There we go. There's some flavor text there, like if you want to read it. Um, I actually stopped reading this stuff. Even in my uh, actual LP. Reason is, it's just not that interesting. It's literally crap. It like tells you where the person was born, blah, blah, blah. Gives you a little bit of um, blurb on their backstory. But it's just, it's, uh, it doesn't really add anything to the game. Anyway. UJC printing at your service. What do we have? We could probably sell some shotgun shells. Quite comfortably sell some shotgun shells. We can probably sell a medical injector or two. And that will give us some more money. Anyway, we've still got another area to explore. 
So let's do just that. Anyone about? I mean, there's spikes on the floor, so it's reasonable to assume that we're not alone here. Very reasonable to assume, I might add. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, I get... I guess it's just like one long... Right, okay. I thought we could go one way and then the other. Maybe not. I guess all roads lead to the same way. That's fine. That makes our job a little bit easier. Elias, copy. I'm lifting the lockdown. Only problem is I can't reach it. The walkway collapsed. The utility room across the way has access to the level below. See if you can reach the catwalk from there. And hurry. A storm's getting worse. Yeah, that storm. That storm's gonna cause problems for us. Right, let's go. Unfortunately, this time we are not on our lonesome. Hello. You guys just can't stay away, can you? You guys literally cannot stay away. Kind of sad, really, when you think about it. Not sure why you guys are on me like flies on shit. I guess I must have a good flavour. There you are. Maybe the skunk gun just isn't the one to use here. Yeah, I'm thinking pistol. Nice try, buddy. Yeah, standard pistol is definitely the way forward with these guys. I say, pretty sure there's more. There's always more. We should know that by now. Where did you go? There you are. Sneaky little sausage. You can't have much health left. There you are. Bet you wish you stayed in your tree now, didn't you? Now, how are we doing? Any more for any more. Oh, there's always more. What do we say? We know this. Wow, you are one ugly motherfucker. Yeah, I'm guessing the shotgun just isn't that efficient for killing these things. I don't know why. You would have thought up close and personal with a shotgun would have been pretty devastating to these. But I guess it depends how much kind of like armor they have. A little bit low on the old ammo, but that's a problem that generally sorts itself out. And by generally, I mean all the time. Uh, so, we need to go to the utility area, I believe. Wherever that is. Through here. Nope, that's oxygen. That's where we came from. Where are we going? Oxygen processing. Utility. Where are we going here? Ah, right. This way. A yeez. Because this way is now kind of like opened up. We've got like a direct path straight through. Got ya. <clears throat> well, well, well. This place looks delicious. Let's go on a little bit of an exploration run, shall we? 
Now, is there any goodies in here? Doesn't look like it. What do we got? We got four. We got four plus. Four plus eight. All right. Let's go. Tastes like ice cream. I'll take your word for it. I don't know what tastes like ice cream. Evening. Oh, we got a spitter. We don't like the spitters. We like to take them up close and personal. And you. Come on. Deal with you two. Now, oh, big armored guy. You and me, bro. Whoop. Whoop. Just you and me, bro. There we go. Huh? What do you think of that? Yeah, we're not taking shit from no one today. Alright. No shit taking today. Whoop. And over. Now, what are we looking like? Yeah, I was going to say, this is just a voice. Kyle, Sarah. Just a voice thing. Kyle. What an unfortunate soul. Never say you're going to be on the last tram right behind you. All right? It's never going to happen. It's a pro tip from a guy who's played too many horror games. Just saying. Never goes the way you want. Death is coming. Well, I mean, you know, death is coming to all of us. Hopefully not today, eh? All right, let's go down. Hopefully this isn't another poop shoot. Doesn't look like a poop shoot. <gasps> Shocking horror. Oh my. Got anything for me, pal? Nah, stingy bastard. Look for the fallen hallway. We shall certainly do our best, my pedigree chum. No goodies here. Ooh. Look. A medical injector. Don't mind if I do. Sounds like we got some serious movement up ahead. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. Right, well. Snaggy you. You're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, dear. That went badly. Now, you can actually comfortably stealth your way all the way through this bit. Easily. But that went wrong. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's bad. This is probably about to go wrong now. Yep, because these guys are going to mutate. Right, can we switch guns? We can. Oh, God. We're seriously losing frames there. Oh, he hit his friend. Remember, kids, friendly fire isn't. He's down. <laughs> oh, that was kind of beautiful in a way. <laughs> right, let's try that again. With a little bit less failure that time. Yeah, that section's not that hard to shoot your way through, I don't think. But... Uh, yeah, you can make that a lot easier on yourself. 
by, you know, being a little bit stealthy. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, really? So we had a medical injector worth a hundred. And now we had a, uh, a grip battery worth 10. And one second, guys, I need to pause the recording because my headset has just died. Ugh, the curse of a wireless headset. Yep, I did think, or hope, I should say, that there was going to be a little bit more warning than just flat out dying, but hey. Alright. Let's be a little bit more sneaky this time. So we've got him over there. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Hey, sir. You can go through. Oh, hello. I don't know how this guy saw me. That works. I don't know how I didn't get caught out then. I will be honest. I assumed once one of them heard you, they all heard you. But I guess not. Okay. I would say that we just got extremely extraordinarily lucky then okay let's be let's be careful here now I kind of want to show off what happens when we throw one in there because it's quite spectacular Oh no, we got a grip battery, didn't we? So we might as well just use it. So if you throw one in there, it kind of like all gets sucked up and sprayed out. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's an interesting little gory um, bonus, I guess. Now, let's go see. I wish we could change our camera angles a little bit. But of course we can't. I think he's there. Yep, he's there. He's going back. Come to daddy. There we go. Got the cure for what ails you. Now, unfortunately, when we do these environmental kills, we can't actually get anything back from them. I don't think. Maybe these guys we can get a little bit back. Maybe. Don't really want to get too close to that fan. Okay. Okay. We got a little bit off him. Oh yeah, you have to wait for the entire animation um, to play out as well. Like, if you skip one frame of the animation, uh, you have to swap weapons again. If you think, gee, that sounds like it'd be problematic during a boss fight, you'd be right. Wipe me old mucker. I'm coming. I'm a coming. Yep, we're coming. Slowly, but we are coming. Jacob, oi, over here. All right, buddy. Not as bad as it looks. Come up. Yeah. You want to climb that? Well, that depends. Do you want to get off this rock? Yeah, that's a good point. Come on, it's dead easy. Just uh, just don't look down, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's easy for you to say, friend. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. You look like shit. Yeah, I look like shit. Huh? 
I smell like it too because somebody forgot to mention that I'd be swimming in it. I told you it wouldn't be easy. But what matters is that you made it, yeah? Yeah, well, we both did. Uh, not quite yet. But we're nearly there. Come on. Give us your hand. Oh. There have to be another one of these bastards. <laughs> Man, those things don't quit. Holy shit, bro. I think those things are changing. They're evolving. Yeah, I think we need to get the hell out of here. Who's with the suit? Station got damaged during evacuation. We go got our side to access to tram. Yeah. Get suited up. We still gotta beat that storm. When you're ready, I'll cycle the airlock. I never asked you. What are you in for? <laughs> what? You worried you're helping a murderer escape? Well, yeah, kind of. Well, you are, man. For what? Look, it was a long time ago, yeah? I was defending myself. Wrong place, wrong time. I made a lot of bad decisions back then. Yeah, well, you were probably just dealt the shitty hand. No. No, no. It was just to blame everyone else. But then I realized this was on me. You can't keep running from what you've done. Couldn't say it better myself. Hello, Ferris. Lost. Now, we're out in the asshole of nowhere, ejected from somewhere. Now, we finally have the suit. The suit upgrades our inventory. We now have twice the space. Apparently, it makes us stronger. We've got more armor now. Uh, I don't know about that, if you say so, game. But, um, well, I guess our health bar does actually look considerably bigger there. Um, now... How the fuck is he still alive? Oh, we ain't seen the last of Ferris. Don't you worry about that. Now, yeah, health and inventory improved. Where are you? So what makes me laugh about this is he's like, oh, what's with the suit? Like, if you knew about these suits before, why didn't we grab one of these suits from the start? And improved our inventory and armor. And yeah, I get it. Um, obviously, they wanted, you know, the midpoint of the game to, you know, get some kind of upgrade. I suppose. But it's not as if these suits were rare. We've walked past quite a few of them. And it, you know, if you're in this situation, it just makes sense to get yourself strapped into some armor. Uh, anyway, plot reasons, obviously. So let's get our sneak on, trudge through this armor. 
trudge through this armor, trudge with this armor through the snow. This goddamn storm. Yeah, this is bad. My god. Can't see shit. Which is fine. Oh, hello. You right there, fella? He's just having a little walk. Oh, he's gone. Literally disappears. Oh, he's back. Hey, friend. Come get some. Oh, you got some moves, I'll give you that. Just not quick enough. Look how the snow deforms as well. It's really good. Really good. Nice little attention to detail. You got nothing for me. So we do know this uh, organism, whatever's infecting these people, doesn't need oxygen to survive. And can apparently survive near freezing temperatures. Or freezing temperatures. Alright, brother. On the way. You can hear me. Activate your emergency beacon. We're on the way, brother. Just hold on, buddy. I'm coming. We're on the way. The beacon. Oh. oh. Elias. There he is. Alright, let's go pick our buddy up and then continue getting the hell out of here. If we can. I'm guessing these suits are nicely powered. Technology is wonderful. And they got some kind of oxygen rebreather inside, which I'm not sure how that would work because the laws of physics states, you know, there's only so small you can make a oxygen tank. I mean, you can pressurize the oxygen so it turns into a liquid and store it a bit more efficiently that way. But still, unless it's recycling the oxygen from Jacob, what he's breathing out, maybe there's some oxygen in the atmosphere that it's scrubbing. I don't know.
Oh, she's a douchebag. I'm so sorry, Wes. Yeah, thanks, man. Now, unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Um, we are going to be putting down an actual manual save. Now, we're going to be saving along the way. We're going to create as many manual saves as this game is going to allow us. I don't know why it says offline. My internet's probably dropped out again. Um, just in case we have to go back and record anything again. Uh, now, the interesting thing with this is I actually kind of hated her, but they, they do give her a fairly decent reason for fucking everything up. But... We're going to discover that later on in the game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.